Avengers Age of Ultron is the latest in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the second installment to its 2012 predecessor before Infinity War Parts 1 and 2. Starring are Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, James Spader as Ultron, Don Cheadle, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Olsen, Linda Cardellini from Freaks and Geeks, Paul Bettany, as well as some cameo appearances from Samuel L. Jackson, Idris Elba, uh, Stellan Skarsgård, Anthony Mackie, Andy Serkis, and Stan Lee, the overall creator of Marvel. A lot of famous peeps are in this one. <clears throat> it's written and directed by Joss Whedon, who takes on these projects with conviction. From the very get-go, we are just launched right into action. There's no setup needed. It's the Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Iron Man. Uh, Thor, Captain America, Hulk, Black Widow and Hawkeye, they're all up against some bad guys. I'm not even sure who to be honest, I found the first 20 minutes a bit of a blur. Tony Stark has created a peacekeeping program including a cyborg robot with advanced intelligence named Ultron who starts to believe the human race needs to be destroyed. Don't Australia. compare me with Stark, he's a sickness. Ah, uh, Junior. You're gonna break your old man's heart. If I have to. Nobody has to break anything. Clearly you've never made an omelette. You beat me by one second. Ah, this is funny, Mr. Stark. It's what, comfortable? Like old times? This was never my life. You two can still walk away from this. No, we will. If you believe in peace, then let us keep it. I think you're confusing peace with quiet. Uh huh. What's the vibranium for? I'm glad you asked that because I wanted to take this time to explain my evil plan. Paper thin plot, but where the Marvel films supposedly shine are in the scope of it all. The uh, comic book to film adaptations and the chemistries that are shared amongst all these superheroes. The Avengers are able to take on some new blood, a brother and sister, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. He has super speed and she can manipulate minds. They're played by Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen. They're pretty cool. If you're boring like me and mostly go for the sort of smaller independent films with a little more grit, a bit of edge, some substance and style and depth and meaning, I could still probably recommend this because it really is a fun time at the movies. <coughs> at the end of the day, it is, it's a Marvel spectacle. It's a whole bunch of explosions and destructions and special effects and witty lines. But um, I can safely say that Avengers Age of Ultron is pretty good. It's the end. The end of the path I started us on. There's only one path to peace. Their extinction. No way we all get through this. I got no plans tomorrow night. The Hulk is my favourite adventure, I think Bruce Banner is perhaps the second most interesting superhero character out there after Bruce Wayne. You really have to sort of put yourself in his shoes and imagine what it would be like if every time you got angry you turned into a giant green monster. Like how would you be as a person? Just a little comparing and contrasting to the first one. The first one, I saw it in cinemas and it was good, it was a fun film, um, on, maybe on the same level as this, I'm not sure. but. Every time it's sort of came back on TV, I've seen like a bit of it on TV and I just sort of think like, yeah, this was, this is a good film, it was fun, but I just don't need to see it again. I just don't ever feel motivated to ever watch it again. So there's just not a whole, a whole lot of rewatchability to the first one. I'd have to try rewatching the second one to find out if that's on the same page, but I can imagine myself uh, going back to revisit this. There are some cool scenes, including one bit with the Hulk, like a fight scene. It was just jaw-dropping. It was a big highlight of the film. <clears throat> and in the first Avengers, it takes a long time for the Hulk to actually come in, so there's a real sense of suspense as to what the Hulk will look like, like what, he, what he might do when he comes in, etc. Um, so yeah, this one didn't really have that sense of anticipation because, like I said, it just throws you right into it from the very get-go. Fun can certainly be had with Avengers Age of Ultron. That's coming from a guy who's never touched a superhero comic book in his life and has barely seen half the standalone Marvel films leading up to the Avengers. 
Uh, so yeah, bring your kids, bring your friends, bring your brothers, sisters, lovers, and your popcorn, and stick around for the end credits because there's a a sort of a, a taste of the next Avengers antagonist, and he looks pretty cool. They are my final thoughts on Avengers Age of Ultron. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to this channel to hear my other thoughts on a nice wide variety of film reviews. I'm going to be trying to be seeing cinema films a little more over the coming weeks, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.